Okay, today we're going to take a look at the axles and the wheel bearings and the brakes. She's got a manual parking brake. Doesn't work right now. I'll get into that later. And I want to make sure my bearings are okay. So you can see it's got squared off edges. And I did a little research. And if they got square edges, it means that they screw off. So I'm going to set you right here. Let's see what we got. All right, the brakes are going to spin. And I'm going to want to turn this. So I've got this water main key. Put it in a stud there, and that'll keep it from turning. All right, let's. I hope this thing ain't on here too tight. Oh, yeah. Full of grease, old grease. Okay. Wipe this off so we can see what we're dealing with. Hmm. Let's try a little more horsepower. Nut off. See if this wrench is big enough. Ooh, not quite. Oh, we had to use these. These castle nuts won't be on real hard because you don't have to bind up. See how easy that was? There's your castle nut. Inner washer or outer washer. Your inner bed. 
bearings. Which they look really good. But while they're off, replace them. Cobwebs. It looks like an old traditional disc drum brake system. The wheel cylinders, brake cylinders are shot. Axle looks really good. Nice, no marks, no edging, etching. Okay. All right. We've got our inner seal and our inner bearings are there, so we got to pop them out. Them, since we're not reusing them, we're not worried about hurting that inner bearing. Just work your way around. And they'll pop out. There's your inner bearing. seal so we will clean those up and see if we can find some replacements and I'll clean up that hub innards all right so that's that no